Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be the first unboxing of anything I've ever done. I've watched lots of other people unbox cameras and things on YouTube but I've never done it myself. And uh, so you might be guessing, I wonder what's in this parcel he's got here. It's quite a large box. Um, well, I have in my archives heaps of Super 8 and Standard 8 movie films recorded back in the 50s, 60s and 70s uh, by my dad and also myself and uh, so I've got a lot of Standard 8 and Super 8 um, exposed films and uh, over the years I've tried to copy them onto VHS at different times with limited success but uh, what I decided to do now is because I need to try and digitise all these and it's very expensive to do it if you pay someone to do it and I'd rather do it myself and I've looked at the different equipment that you can get to uh, transfer and copy um, film into digital but I decided that the best option for me was to actually get a, a projector, a working projector I used to have about five or six working projectors but they all seized up and I couldn't find anyone locally to service them so I donated them somewhere else so I bought this projector from Frank up in um, Queensland I think it is, I'll put the details down underneath from Projector Heaven where he reconditions projectors and sells them as good as new and this is a Sankyo projector which I'm hoping will do the trick it does both Standard 8 and Super 8 so without further ado I'll get to see if I can hop into it um, it's been a little while coming in the post this time of the year at Christmas but we'll see how we go so I'm not sure about the etiquette of unboxing things but I'm gonna have a go anyway so let's have a look it's very well packed and uh, <coughs> excuse me, got an invoice enclosed in here. Where can we start? It says fragile. I hope they didn't bounce it around when they delivered it. So let's have a go here. I'll probably be using something other than scissors to try and undo this. I'll just stop the video for a second while I try and get into it. Well, I am making some progress, as you can see. I've got the top bits off, there's stuff all over the thing. got the invoice enclosed here, so hopefully we'll have a look and see what that's in there. So there's the invoice, and it's a message from Frank. Frank Arn Arnstein, his name is. And... Um, He's in Rathbone Place in Labrador, Queensland. He says, thanks for your purchase. I hope you love it. I hope I love it too, Frank. So there you go. So that's the invoice. So it's arrived here. We'll put that down over there. So I'll get on with unboxing all the rest of this here. It's a Sankyo 2000H, I think it is. Dual 8mm silent projector. It's certainly well packed, Frank. So we've got the, the lid open now, you can see in here we've got some extra packaging to get through of course. I'll just bring this down a little bit like that and see how we go now. Now I've now got this out of the outer box, see if we can get to the inner box, certainly well packed. So far so good. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty. There's a take up reel there. There's a bonus film, WC Fields, that I can test the actual projector with before I put my own films through it. What a service that is to be able to do that. And uh, I'm looking forward to having a look at that. Circus Slickers, there you go. That probably goes for, I don't know, how long does that one go for? Super 8mm black and white, silent edition, running time 8 minutes and 51 seconds. There's a take up reel there. Some 
instructions, so that's handy. It's a Sankyo Duolux 2000H instruction manual. Very handy, of course. This looks like a power cord to plug it in. And it's got a standard um, Australian connector, so hopefully that'll be fine. That's the, the power cord there. Now, what should we take out next? The actual projector's under here. It's all bubble wrapped. We'll see if we can get that out. Maybe if I bring it that way a bit. Might be able to ease it out a bit. Or maybe if I pull out the bit of the foam, that might be a better idea. Very well packed. Now get my hands underneath. Here we go. We're getting closer now. Just turn that down there a little bit. Okay. Put that over there. Just stop this and work out to get this bubble wrap off. Feel like I'm making a bit of progress now. Look, here we go. This is looking fairly good. Should just lift off the bottom there. There we go, look at that. Looks in very nice condition. Senko Duolux 2000H. Looks in pretty well mint condition. I'm very pleased with the way that looks so far. Of course the test is putting a film through it and checking it out and all that jazz. So, um, I don't want to do too much with it just yet until I've figured it all out. I'll just turn this off for a minute. So, there you go. It's all out of the box, ready to be plugged in and get working. When I've got it all going, I'll probably do another video to show you how it works. I'm quite excited about getting hold of this because my grandchildren have never seen this technology. They've never seen all the films that we've got of their, their parents when they were little running around. And uh, that'll be really good. And uh, also, when I was young enough to play football and cricket, my dad used to take uh, all our school footy matches, high school matches, and, and all that sort of stuff as well, and cricket matches. So that's something to look forward to, and there's a lot of family weddings on our films as well. So we're looking forward to having a go at this and having some good old-fashioned film nights. Little splicer thrown in here to, to splice your films with, because quite often there's a lot more... Uh, involved in, in this film photography. You've, I've got some um, editing machines uh, that would I can use with this and uh, make sure I can have all the, the films running properly. So there you go, that's the unboxing. Thanks Frank and uh, I might even send you this little video so you can see what I did so far and uh, we will uh, see how we go. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Subscribe if you wish at the stage I'm recording this, I'm still off the air on YouTube, but I'm planning to maybe come back after Christmas and put some up. Who knows, this could go up even before that. But um, I have got some things in mind for the new year, and I'm trying to do quite a, a bit of uh, quite a few projects I've got in mind to, to start up again in the new year. But anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.